Welcome to another installation of Lisa Jeff and Mike's Technology Lab for Captivate. Topic here will be screen resolution, recorded screen size. So the actual uh, screen size that your your screen capture video is capturing. And level here is beginner, duration size should be small. I'm running myself on a timer here. When I say small, I want it to stay small. Uh, in this demo, we will change your resolution in Windows. Uh, I'm actually going to do that first, even though it's not in that order there. And then I'll talk about how the resolution can be set up in a Captivate software simulation video and how the screen size can affect different video types. Uh, tips from the pros, try not to have too much stuff on your desktop when you're recording because it can really busy up the video. Now, the optimal resolution, and, and this number may not mean much to you right now, even though it's probably been happening in your machine without you even knowing it. When you plug into a projector, for example, one of the overhead projectors in the class, it automatically defaults you to this resolution. That's what's happening to your screen. And, and this is a common resolution uh, for devices and different platforms that have playback video. Um, it's, it's just a generally accepted size uh, that, that we use so that the resolution stays within certain parameters and doesn't get all, doesn't get all messy and sloppy. So, so this is one that you want to try and memorize because if you are, if you are going to be creating a video that you know you're going to take uh, into an outline, online platform like YouTube or you know you're going to move it to somewhere else, this would be the biggest you'd want to go. Now right now, I'm not set to that. Right now I'm set to my standard resolution on, on the new ThinkPad, which is actually pretty large. So to change this, you would right click and you would go to screen resolution. If you're in an older version of Windows like Vista, you would actually right click and if you go to personalize, you can go to display settings and you can adjust your monitor resolution there. I can't demo that because I'm not using Vista or something a little older, but, but when you right click and personalize, you go to display settings. In the newer version of Windows, you can go right to screen resolution. It's as simple as just go in here, pick in a resolution and you're done. So the optimal resolution that I was talking about is all the way down here. Okay, it's not actually listed, you just have to click on it, and then you would click apply, and then you would be set at this resolution. Um, I'm actually not going to keep that. You can see how it might mess up your desktop. See how that stuff's already getting kind of pushed over? That's why if you had a lot of stuff on there, it would get pretty sloppy. I'm not going to apply that, okay? I'm going to leave it set to the normal resolution and, wait a second, no, revert. <laughs> and I'm going to jump into uh, Captivate here. Holy cow. Okay. Let's cancel out. Okay, jump into Captivate. That was a lot of fun screen change, screen size changes there. I'm going to go with the software, software simulation. In here, you can also adjust what you're recording without actually changing your own screen size. So if you wanted to do an application, you could actually do this and, and drag this out. I'm clicking and dragging with my mouse until you got it to a size that would fit within the 1024 by 768 limit. So you can see it's 10, it's under 1024. Let's do 1015. And then if I go right to here, I can drag just here, sorry, um, just up and down. You can do it all, all different directions, okay? And you can actually move it. If you sit on the border, it's like dragging a cell in Excel. You can move it around to sit in a certain spot. And then I could take an application like PowerPoint here and minimize it and get it inside of that box, okay? That's one way to do it. Um, or you could do uh, screen area and draw a specific size. If you go to custom size and you can drag it around the same way and then put each thing into that area that, so that it only picks it up with it. You know what I mean? That way you could do multiple applications but still have it set to the right size without having to change your resolution in Windows if you don't want to totally throw your desktop off. Now, I'm actually going to go ahead and record full screen there and I'm getting close to five minutes. Um, let's just record full screen and it will prompt you to do the mic settings every time if you haven't so there we go I'm not re gonna record more than like five seconds or something click on something yada 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 good 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 let's stop recording okay so extremely short recording but uh, there is a purpose to this okay so the reason I want to show you this is because if, if you record on the larger size resolution I recorded full screen I went back to full screen and I want to go and try and publish okay and I go to publish and I go to media and I'm going to choose to publish to F4V, which this will be in another video where I'm talking about YouTube. But this is, this is the, the main format that YouTube will accept out of all the formats that you can create in here. And I go to publish, and it tells me, oh, whoa, you made this a little big, okay? It's supposed to be at least this small if you want to do an F4V. 
So then if that's the case, I actually have to go to modify. You, you close out of here. I'd have to go to modify on the menu and rescale the project. And I'd want to go to preset size. You can see here, you can scale it right down to sizes that will actually start to work for smartphones and stuff. But the problem is, in, in, if, if you record larger and then scale it down, like I'm going to do here. Let's go 1024 by 7. Let's, let's go even smaller so you really see what happens. Let's go 800 by 600, which is a good video size so that it's pretty much the same size that would be in a YouTube window. And I'm going to scale it. Okay, so it's going to scale it down. And it's not as easy to see until you publish it. But once I go publish it, okay, if it's been rescaled and you publish to F4V, you really start to see the graininess. You, you lose a lot of quality. Okay, so I'm going to publish. And when I go and publish, this shouldn't take too long here. Okay, I'm trying to keep this in the neighborhood of five minutes at least. Okay, that's a pretty quick one because it was very short. Let's check out the F4V file. So this should open up in Media Player. Here we go. And you're going to be able to see right off the top. See how it's, you've sort of got, this isn't too bad because, I mean, you're looking at the entire desktop. But, and it's a very short video, but um, you've sort of got some graininess in, in a sense that you've lost a bit of quality. If we look at, uh, what did I play recently in here? Let's take a look at an Excel, a version of an Excel one I did. See what's going on there? See, I'll pause it right there. See that? You can barely even read the cells. And that's because I didn't do it with the proper resolution to begin with, and I had to rescale project. And when I rescaled project and then compressed to FV4, it just it didn't come out as clear. And I, I really nailed it on this one, so I didn't want to re-record it. But you can see here in this video how much of a role monitor resolution actually plays on the on the, the quality of a video, especially when you start to get into small characters and smaller items. So if you're going to do something that you know you want to be able to load onto a smartphone or onto a portable device and you want it to be small, you're going to have to even go smaller than this, 1024 by 768. And the way you saw me setting up the screen size, you could set up the screen size to be something like 200 by whatever and then actually change around the size of your application to fit right into that box and record just within that little tiny box without changing the resolution of your entire um, screen on your desktop. Now. I usually get in the habit of doing that because I do a lot of full screen videos where I'm doing multiple applications. But this is just, it's showing you a variety of things you can do to make sure that you don't lose a lot of quality if you haven't, you know, if you haven't used the, the proper resolutions yet. This is, this is what you want to stick with. Always go at least this small if you're going to be compressing it or publishing it to something that will go online. If you're going to be doing it for smartphones or, or other devices, go even smaller. All right. And that's it for this uh, installation of Lisa Jeff and Mike's Technology Lab. Uh, this was all about screen size and its connection to Captivate, and we'll see you in the next video.